Have you noticed that uh, all those uh, supposed refugees are uh, terrorist age Muslim men with kids? What happened to the women's? Uh, where are the women? It's just these terrorist age Muslim men with kids. I don't know about you, but this max of uh, invasion by jihadis big time. Being the case, none of them, I feel, should be let into any country until they watch about a year's worth of YouTube videos by Christian Prince, who is the author of The Deception of Allah. Uh, after a year of watching not only his YouTube videos, but also the videos of Muhammad, uh, Jesus or Muhammad, featuring David Wood and Sam Shamoon, I feel these Muslim invaders need to take a quiz where if they miss just one, they stay another year in a detention camp. And they have two tries at it. And if they fail, then they're taken back to their place of origin. Okay. And here is one possible uh, question. And there'll be others. Okay. Okay, here's number one. According to Muhammad in Sahih Hadith, an embryo becomes a blood clot. In spite of how Muslims want to believe it, that is, a clean, leech-like substance, how many days, according to Muhammad, is an embryo a, quote, clot of congealed blood, says, because he says, Muhammad says, then it becomes a clot of congealed blood. Is it A, 30 days, B, 40 days, C, 9 months, or D, 10 days? The answer is... Uh, a. No, it is B, 40 days. Another question would be, according to the Quran, uh, stars are located in A, space, B, the butt of the flying donkey-like creature Muhammad said he flew on in a journey by night, the al Barak. C, the, uh, uh, on the back of a giant fish called the nun, D, in the Earth's atmosphere, to to attack Satan if he if Satan tries to spy on Allah. The answer is D. Another question could be: What book does the Quran say is not only Allah's words and Allah's books, but what book is confirmed by the Quran? Is it A. The Mahabharata, B. The Bible, C. The Talmud, or D. The Song of God, the Bhagavad Gita, the Bhagavad Gita? B. It's the Bible, even though all Muslims believe the Bible is corrupted. Another question could be, according to Quran 1094, if you are in doubt about the Quran, you, as a Muslim, are to go to A. Fellow Muslims and study the Quran together. B. Muslim scholars who not only know the Quran and Hadith. C. Jews and Christians for reading the before scriptures Bible. Or D. No one but yourself, for no one can be trusted due to Takiya, lying for Allah. The correct answer is absurd, as it is, but it's C, Jews and Christians, even though the Quran accuses Jews and Christians of hiding things in their book, Bible, and uh, passing over much, and uh, uh, tossing the Bible over their back. Another question could go as this, quote, Accord, go, go as follows, according to Muhammad and Al Tabari Hadith. A solar eclipse occurs by A, the sun falling out of its chariot into the sea of water held over our heads by the power of Allah. Uh, B, the sun catching up to the moon. C, the moon blocking out the rays of the sun. Or D, the sun disappearing into the butt of the Al Barak. Muhammad said he flew on uh, from Jerusalem to. Uh, from Jerusalem, from uh, to from from Mecca to Jerusalem, and a journey by night. The correct answer is A. Another could be this. According to Quran thirty six forty through forty two, what is implied that the sun and moon that the sun and moon ride in? Is it A a chariot? 
B. The butt of the Al Barak Muhammad says he flew on. C. A boat similar to that of Noah, that is the ark. Or D. An orbit around the earth. The correct answer is C. A boat similar to that of Noah. Oh, and uh, this will just be off the top of my head. According to Muhammad, uh, the earth is spread out on uh, the back of a giant uh, uh, caterpillar. Uh, that would be A. B, the back of a giant fish called Nun. Uh, C, uh, the back of a, a giant human. Or D, uh, uh, the Albarak that he flew on from, uh, from Mecca to Jerusalem in a journey by night. The correct answer is A, on the back of a giant fish called Nun. Anyway, this is the type of quiz I feel a Muslim must take after a year of seeing the videos of, say, Christian Prince, Dave Wood, Sam Shamoon, uh, Zakaria Botros, Craig Gwynn. Yeah, they watch all those videos every day for a year, and they take the quiz. If he or she misses just one, they stay at least another year before taking the test again. If they fail after, it, if they fail it in two tries in two years, they go back to their place of origin and are monitored and never able to come back. That's what I feel they should do with these ref these quote refugees uh, from not just Syria. They're, they they came in from all over the country, all over the world into Syria, but now they're flooding into as an invasion. They're invading Europe. But that's the kind of quiz they should take. And then if they pass it, yeah, okay, he's gonna come in. But before they take it, even though they pass it, they have to draw a picture of Muhammad also. Uh, there's these ancient pictures of Muhammad that have his face uh, erased. They should have to draw a picture of Muhammad's face on there and, and, and make him look angry. Then when they do that and they pass the test, then they come inside. Bye.